Welcome to another season of Talking Scared, brought to you by the kind folks here at the Haunted Honeymooners. Um, as we have always done and will continue to do, we got to start all these shows off with a little bit of a warning. And that warning is simply this. Sometimes things get a little carried away on this show. Sometimes things are not exactly what you would call PG, PG-13, or anything like that. Not every show, but a lot of the shows. So you've been warned, right here, right now, that sometimes things might need a little bit of a parental advisory type of thing going on. Enjoy the show. We hope you love what we're doing here because we're going to keep on doing it. Whether you like it or not, honestly. But you've been warned. Sometimes shit's fucked up on this thing, alright? So tune out if you're not able to deal with it. Enjoy the show. Campers, it's me, Ari Lima, the first Jason Voorhees from Friday the 13th. And you're watching Talking Scared. <laughs> up everybody welcome 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 to the show this evening got an excellent show in store for you we do 
Uh, going with the old school setup tonight, all right? Just a little bit. Just, just not, a little... not a lot. It's a small change, not a whole big change. Well, I mean, you know, just there won't be a hot spotlight tonight. Yeah. It's basically all that there is to it. Um, so a little bit of a shorter show tonight, not having that uh, extra tidbit there at the end. Uh, but I think we're going to have plenty to talk about this evening with our guest. I'm excited to have Pappy on. We're going to have him on here in just just a second. But um, as always, just a real quick welcome to the show. I don't think we have shit for announcements tonight. I, I don't. I, do you have any? Oh, yeah, that's right. The merch store. I've got to talk about the merch store. It's launching. Nick, don't murder me. I know that it's we're not supposed to share it yet, so I didn't do that. Okay, but I don't remember when you told me it was it was launching. So that's my fault. So if you could maybe in the comments, that'd be great. Thanks. Uh, but we got a brand new merch store. Nick Thursday. has done an amazing job with this stuff. Uh, Lindsay actually got her first uh, her first order in. Uh, Trish and I are going to be buying some stuff off of it here yeah, shortly. Yeah, we are. Uh, but uh, and also real quick for those that are Who supporters. Who doesn't want her yoga pants? It's true. I'm trying to get her to buy the sports bra. I'm getting the uh, sports bra and the yoga pants. She's like, getting, the, she's getting get the sports bra and the yoga. There, there's a lot of it's cool lot stuff. There's, there's coffee mugs. There's mouse pads. There's there's everything. There's even condoms. Um, if you we can share now, I can share now. Okay. So at the end of the show, after we're done talking to Pappy, I will pull all that up because I don't have it pulled up quite yet. Yep. Um, and oh, I don't want to. I don't want to. Figgle around and find it real quick and keep Pappy waiting. Uh, but we will talk more about the merch store tonight at the conclusion of the show. Yep. Uh, we might even talk a little bit about why I think Shredder is the greatest villain in the history of villains He's from the original reason. original Turtles movie. Uh, it was just something I was thinking about today. I'm very passionate about this. We'll see. I, we might get booted for showing it, but we'll see. We might show bits and pieces. A couple He's of small He's trying clips. to get us booted. I'm done. I'm not. I'm not. I'm I don't done. know what I'm going to do. Just calm down, everybody. It's okay. Okay. But we got a couple more little things that we're going to share out with you, and yes. it's time to go get Pappy. Yes, it is. It is. It is time to go get Pappy. I know that's why everybody's here tonight. So let's go get us some Pappy. You all are watching Talking Scared. Hang in there with us for just a minute longer. It's almost Pappy time. I like that. Pappy I like time. Pappy time. Pappy time. All right, let's do it. Hey, I'm the most known unknown, and get ready, because you're watching Talking Scared. All right, everybody, welcome to the show. Let me get Pappy pulled up here real quick. Pappy, welcome to the show, my friend. How are you doing this evening? I'm doing great, man. Thanks for having me on. Hey, man, it's an absolute privilege to have you on tonight. We are excited to get to know you a little bit better. But I, I'm, I'm going to apologize. i got to be a little rude for a second. I've got, I got to put you to the side for a second because people were talking about the condoms, and um, I wanted everybody to know what happened. So we had we had a meeting. I said no. <laughs> we had a meeting like just a week ago, week and a half ago. We're making plans, you know, who's going to Midwest Haunters, who's doing this, who's doing that this summer. Oh, God, you're not going to tell on them. I am. I am. Oh, I'm not going to say whose idea it was, but somebody wanted to make a bunch of the condoms and pass them out as business cards for us, and um, it wasn't me. And we all had to be crickets for a minute, and then, but no, you can't do that. Please don't do that. Lindsay no. was the first true voice of reason. She's like, we're not really going to do that, are we? No, Stop. You said not. you're not going to name people. <laughs> but probably... Lindsay was the hero. She stopped. I know, but you're we can well i don't care they know they know who it was but anyways that's enough of that pappy man welcome to the show tonight thanks for being a part of this man uh we promise it's a little more organized than what it seems like sometimes, sometimes but you know we're all yeah, here no we're gonna have some fun tonight man so first question tonight it's the same question we ask every single guest on talking scared been that question uh, almost, since almost since day, day one. one almost since day one uh, the first talking scared, I was so scared, I don't remember what questions I was asking. Oh, but anyways, 
Pappy, before haunted houses, before haunted attractions, acting, any of that good stuff, what are some of your very first memories of horror? What are some of the things that got you interested in all things spooky? Uh, honestly, how I got into horror was my mother. Uh, she worked night shift, and every single day when she'd come home, she'd stop at, uh, that's when we still had video rental stores, and she'd stop and get three uh, horror movies, B-rated, of course. Yeah. And we'd sit down with those every day. I love so it. That, nice. that got me into that. I love yeah. it. Was was that from that, that mystery place called Blockbuster? Isn't that what that used to be called? <laughs> Didn't that used to exist, I we think, had, one day? We had, uh, we had uh, Eagle Video in my town. Okay. All right. Ours was a little shack called Movie Hut, and you could also tan there. Well, yeah, but... Yeah, I mean, right on. Yeah. <laughs> so... Uh, yeah, and for the kids out there watching video cassettes, those used to be a thing too. That's what we rented from those places. Right. Um, and you were supposed to rewind them before you brought them back. And it was always oh, a very sure. exciting <laughs> night. And I think that that's one thing. While streaming is really cool, I guess we'll show our age for a second. It yeah. wasn't as accessible, so it it seemed like more of an excitement. Yeah, you man. know, you'd get the popcorn, you'd get the candy, you'd set up your own little set, man, and get everything ready to roll and yeah. have a killer night. Hope somebody rewinded theirs like they were supposed to yeah. so they didn't miss the beginning of your night. Yeah, up. yeah, that's always frustrating. <laughs> Press play and it's already in the middle. The kids out there are just going, God, what are these? What are they talking about? Oh, my goodness. My birthday's coming up, guys. I'm sorry. I'm oh, old. Oh, wow. So, anyways, right. very cool. Very cool. It's always mom, grandma, grandpa. Yeah. Uh, something like that that aunts. seems to. We've yeah. had aunts. Uh, what was one of your favorite horror movies growing up? Um. You know, my I, I would say my favorite one was probably uh, the first one I ever watched was Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2. Uh, that's, uh, a good, right, that's, that's a good, that's a good first. Yeah, yeah. It's a, that's a rough introduction to horror, honestly. <laughs> um, wow, man. Talk about jumping Take in the deep end. Uh, that's, uh, that's, right. that's, that's, that's crucial. Wow. Um, my, my first, my first horror experience was Michael Jackson's Thriller. Um, and you're, you're, you're coming with Texas Chainsaw 2. Right. That is impressive. That is impressive. Uh, did you see the new one? Yeah. Yeah, I did. Yeah, we just checked that out. What are your thoughts? Yeah, I thought if you were if you were watching for the kills, it, it was definitely a bloodbath. Uh, I, but I didn't care for the storyline, to be honest. Yeah, that is... Yeah, uh, that, I think that's where a lot of us stood on it. <laughs> yeah, right. I think that is like the general consistency of yeah. everybody that's watched it. The story was crap, but it's worth watching at least once. For the awesome kill. killer scenes, you know that that mom shrine too. I thought that was one of the coolest sets. Uh, that was right. that was super cool, man. That looked straight out of a haunted house too. So I, I loved it, man. Very very cool. Um, well, next question before we talk about haunted houses and stuff like that, man. We like to know how much you truly believe in the spooky side, paranormal. Um, and our paranormal is a pretty broad range. I mean, we, we throw aliens in there, demons, we ghosts. Do. I'm sorry. My cat is super <laughs> insistent on being in the show tonight. Um, but anyways, she does uh, from, time to time. from time to time. So we'll see. She might stop at some point, but what are your thoughts on it, man? Aliens, ghosts, spirits, demons. Are they out there? Yeah, and if they are, I think it's out there, man. Okay. Yeah. I think it's out there. Have you had any I don't experiences? Go it, but I think it's out there. <laughs> Have, have you had any experiences or anything like that that's kind of led to that belief or any stories? Yeah, you know, at, at my parents' house, actually, uh, when they moved in, there was these wooden butterflies on the wall in the kitchen, and we were all screwing around on the total opposite side of the house, and a bunch of those wooden, three of those wooden butterflies went past us oh. at like 3 o'clock and <laughs> scared the shit out of me. Very cool. I think Very that's cool. good to shit out of everybody. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, no, I like it. Yeah. I like it, though. I like it, though, man. I love that shit, man. That's, that's... Absolutely. <coughs> I'm not always the biggest fan of it. When that's it kind of the to... thing he would like to see happen to him. That's something that he just can't explain because he's a huge skeptic. Well, no, I know. Right. I, I believe that there's something else out there. I just, mm. I think that it's sometimes exaggerated um, in, in some circles. We'll just leave it I'll at that. I'll have to link you up with my parents, man. They got stories for days on old houses they used to live in. Very cool. Very cool. I, I would love to hear them. We'd love to hear them. Right. Uh, that's awesome, right. man. That's awesome. So what I, What scares you? You're a haunt actor. You've been involved in horror and stuff like that. But uh, let us see the other side of it for just a minute before we talk about acting and, and the, some of the stuff you've been involved in. Uh, what's What scares Pappy? 
Uh, honestly, anything medical. You know, like if you show me, uh, like I can look at a tattoo gun, no problem. But if you just show me a syringe, I'm going to freak out. You know, like a, get my blood pressure taken kind of jeeves me out. Yeah. You know, like, okay. All right. Anything. All right. I like I it. I get it. I, I feel you. And do you get that? Are you serious? You have tattoos and blah, 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 blah. And blah. No, it's annoying. It's <laughs> different. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, I cannot look at anything like just honestly, like just them like checking my pulse, like that pressure of them checking my pulse just cheats me out for some reason. I got you. It's I a it's you. an intervenous thing, man. I can't do it either. Like, right. don't touch it. <laughs> so I mean, you you're scared of the medical genre, but you, but you work in a haunt and you, you you've been doing this for a while. Have you kind of had the uh, the opportunity to maybe like play your fear? Have you got to work as like a medical? character or been in that type of environment at all no honestly um so this this new character that i'm doing this year is the first time that i've strayed away from my original character okay which was a a clown i got put in charge of the freak show so you know went with a clown fair enough and, uh, this is my first time venturing away from it you know okay all right i like it i like it we are going to talk about that clown here very very shortly but before we do it's time we got a little game we got to play first. Right on. All right, Pappy, I told you about it earlier, but let me give everybody out there watching a brief rundown as to what is about to happen. This is our arena. It is Battle of the Five Time. Pappy is going to be presented with two characters. They could be fictional superhero, supervillain, serial killer, any Joe Blue I have picked out of the you know universes today. And um, he's going to pick who would win in a street fight to the death. One winner, one loser, one person dies, one person lives. That's all the rules of the arena. One roller. <laughs> Pappy, are you ready to play? Are you ready to enter our arena tonight? Guess some of these. Uh, we'll see how often he agrees with me, because uh, there's no wrong answers. It's, it's a but... fun game to see how many times he's wrong. <coughs> we'll see. We'll see how many times <laughs> I'm wrong. Anyways, uh, round one. Round one. We have two women's rounds. One is a title contender round that will pick who challenges our champion next week. So the very first round is an important one, and then we'll uh, we'll have our next women's round right after it. But let me introduce you to your uh, combatants tonight. Entering at first, we have Elastigirl. And I got to pause for yeah. a second because I was absolutely oh my God. He got mortified. horrified. So he doesn't know how ridiculous it is out there of a widespread genre of anime porn there yet. No, I knew. I knew. Hold not on. Not how you, ridiculous it was. You did not. I mean, I wasn't expecting it. The very it. first six photos when he punched in Elastigirl was all of her butt. All of it. It's all focused yeah. on her, her ass. daughter. Yeah. The one her daughter was like right like at the side at of the butt, just like Jesus. check out mom's butt. Um, it took <laughs> some bad. serious fucking sorting to find one that <laughs> wasn't about to, her ass or tits. I had to be like, that ooh, there's a main face. Like, like, I was floored by it. I'm, I'm not. I'm not. He, she acts like I have no idea what porn is. Um, but I, I know that there's a bunch of fucking anime porn out there. I just wasn't expecting, you know, when you Elastigirl. just search Elastigirl. Like, I didn't search Elastigirl fucking. Um, you know, <laughs> I searched Elastigirl, and it was nuts. But anyways, here she is, um, button all in play. Uh, Elastigirl looking to do battle. Fight to the death. Tough opponent tonight. Storm from X-Men versus Elastigirl. Fight to the death. Who you got, Pappy? You know... I think I'm, I'm going to go with Elastigirl on this one. Because of the butt? The booty wins. It's the butt, isn't it? Yeah, the butt. Hands down. <laughs> I mean, that just wins no matter what. The booty wins. <laughs> I like it. I yeah. like it. Elastigirl takes out Storm. She will challenge the winner of the next fight next week. It is women's championship time. Let me introduce you to our current champion. Won that title last week. Captain Marvel looking to defend her title uh, tough challenge. A little Marvel versus Marvel action tonight. Hella from Thor looks to dethrone Captain Marvel in a fight to the death. Who you got today? 
Oh, man. You know, I think she's getting dethroned. I mean, she's a bad bitch picking up Thor's hammer, man. I like it. I like it. Captain Marvel with the shortest women's reign in history one week. (laughs) I love it. I love it. I'm not a Captain Marvel fan, so I'm I'm a fan of that. I like having... I like it when our villains hold the title. So, very cool. Hella. We're a very DC family here. <laughs> Hella is the new champion. She will battle Elastigirl next week for that title. So, that'll be exciting to see. See if the butt can pull it off one more time. <laughs> All right. So, round number three. It's going to get a little uh, playfully anti religious out here. So, if you're out there, you guys. It's all in fun. Deal with ha, it. Ha. It's all in fun. Ha ha ha. We respect all of your beliefs, no matter how silly they may be. All right, so we have, stepping into the arena, Zeus. Now, I had to think of a worthy opponent for Zeus, the god of thunder. And the next person I'm about to introduce you to has been in our arena numerous times. He has. And, crazy as it sounds, has never won one single match in that time frame so let's see if maybe tonight he can finally pop that cherry god god steps into the arena <laughs> look at <laughs> the dude battle with zeus um and that's that is just for anybody out there wondering i didn't just pick that because of monty python i picked that because i think that whatever is... he picked it because of monty python Don't no lie. in my mind if god's real and I'm not going to get into all that tonight because, you know, we're having fun. But if he is, right. it's exactly what he looks like. That's exactly what he's doing right now. But anyways. That better be what he's doing, man. <laughs> That's a bad That's looking God. <laughs> God versus Zeus. Fight to the death, man. One of the Eternals has to go down. Who you got? You, you know, I'm going with my gut on this one. And Arnold Schwarzenegger just played Zeus. You know, and who's God got? Morgan Freeman? So, hey, I mean, whoa, I'm whoa, whoa, whoa. No, no, no. You slow down right there. Don't you just, well, like Morgan Freeman ain't, no. No, I, I'll, I'll no. put, I, I can tell you right now, if it was Morgan Freeman versus Arnold Schwarzenegger in the arena, I'm putting my money on Morgan Freeman. He go talking no to Dan. It's just gone. Like. Do you not, I almost picked the Morgan Freeman scene. Instead of this one, I almost picked the one where he's sitting there and he just goes, I am God. Right. Right, but 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 go ahead, go ahead. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt and tell you why you're wrong. But no, go you're ahead. good, man. I, I'm I'm sticking with Zeus on this one. All right, fair enough. Zeus takes it. Pain. Get out of here, God. You still can't win in the arena. Poor God. He is. He just every time. It doesn't matter who he fights. He always listens. <laughs> I think I could pull up old WWE wrestler Doink the Clown. Oh no. And put him against God, and people Ooh. would pick Doink. They would. I, I just. I, we're gonna try it one day. We'll see. No. Uh, but anyways, it is number one contender time for the men's side of things. I'm very excited about this one. I hope you pick correctly. Oh God. Because this one means a lot to me. But we'll see. We'll see. Uh, let me introduce one of the possible challengers for the title next week. Spartacus. Been in the arena many times. Classic warrior. He's uh, got a solid record, too. Has won most of his Wait, matches. Wait, did you pick the original Spartacus or the one that had to take over the original, after the original? The original, the, okay. original the one that actually the fought in the arena. The original. <coughs> Excuse me. Still getting over a little bit of a cold, guys. So I apologize for that cough every once in a while. Trying to control her. Um, but we got Spartacus tonight facing what I think is the greatest super villain that does not get enough credit. One specific version of him, specifically the 1990s original turtles movie oh, let no. me introduce you That's to the why. challenger tonight possible number one contender leader of the foot clan shredder steps into the arena i know the kids are asleep. No this is Sleeping. exciting right now shredder versus spartacus in a no fight. More, man shredder shredder thank you thank you uh i know you just made his whole night like he's happy now i want you to know i want and to see I- that fight though all I have to say oh, is, yeah. next week is the Talking Scare the day before my birthday, and so help me if Shredder wins. <laughs> this, oh, no. No. Oh, it's going to happen. No. Oh, yeah. No. Yeah, he's coming. Y'all heard it. We're going to have to be flooding the comments with Shredder. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> Show up next week. Pre- pressure the guest into answering our <laughs> way. Okay? <laughs> threaten them. Shredder I'll let you know who it's going to be. He said threaten. <laughs> All right. Very cool, very cool. All right, time to find out who Shredder is going to be facing next week. Let me introduce you to our reigning 
defending undisputed, undisputed champion, one of the classic icons of the arena, has held the title longer than anyone else in arena history. Jason fucking Voorhees has been dominant, and dominant this figure. Right? The ultimate right. gift. It has. For Jason. It, it has. really, really has. Um, but Jason <laughs> has, has dominated. It's reigning, defending champion. Tough challenge tonight. Interesting challenge tonight, I think, for Jason, for sure. Loki. Oh, for sure. Loki steps into the arena looking to dethrone Jason in a fight to the death. Who you got? You know, I I got to stick with Jason, man. Oh, really I really do. I don't think anything can kill him. All right, all right. It makes me nervous for Shredder next week. But we we got this. We're we're all. I, I mean, that that would be the fight of fights right there. Shredder I think so. and Jason is fighting next. Holy yeah. Oh yeah. And Shredder's gonna shred him. We ain't gonna have turtle soup next week. We are gonna have Jason soup. And I know the team Jason <laughs> out there is getting mad at me already. I can see him. I see y'all popping up in the comments. It don't matter. The right. rain ends next week. It's over. Team Jason's Jason. done. Team Shredder's Jason. taking it. Team on Jason. The top. <laughs> Shredder is taking it. I don't care what y'all have to We're say. We're polling about it. this. We're polling this. Jason versus Shredder. Who's gonna <laughs> win next week? We're polling this. <laughs> we'll see. Rest in peace, Shredder. Lindsay, get out of here. All right. That is that's enough of the arena. Pappy, thank you for playing. Excellent. Excellent job oh, in the so arena tonight, hard. man. You did very, very Cat's well. Back. Very, the cat is back. <laughs> all right, Pappy. We wouldn't be doing anything justice if we didn't talk about haunted attractions and all that stuff. So I think first and foremost, I know we got a new character uh, that, that's coming this year. But what right. was the original character that you were playing? Tell us all about him. Uh, so Pappy, my. So th to be clear, everybody just calls me Pappy and haunting. So I've tried. Not to give my characters different names. I know I'm not going to be able to break everybody of that. Because you're still but, Pappy. Uh, yeah, yeah, it doesn't matter what, <laughs> you know, they're going to call me that. When I'm walking through the houses doing house checks, they're going to call me Pappy. So, <laughs> um, But uh, Pappy the Clown uh, was just, uh, I when I was coming up with his concept, I was really thinking of, like, the pur I really like the Purge movies. So I didn't want him to be, like, a circus clown really like it was just somebody on the street almost um but yeah i used to have a blast i had a blast with that character for five years very cool nice very cool and um what was the uh, what was the first haunt you were you were working at where, where, where were your roots at where'd you start at so i started at uh it, it's now called nightmare at pioneer it originally was called fall fear fest okay. at pioneer waterland chardon ohio okay. um yeah, I was do I was doing home haunting for a long time, and cool. one of the owners, uh, Dan Salmon, got a hold of me and asked if I'd come out and work the haunt out there and put it together. And uh, yeah, so I've been out there for five years now, and this is gonna be my first year striking away for the normal season. Okay. Okay. All right. Very t talk about the home haunting a little bit before you got involved i guess in the quote unquote industry here about home haunting we don't get right. to do enough of those yeah tell tell us about the home haunt man and uh and, and kind of what that was all about what was the vibe there honestly we just uh one year i was having a halloween party maybe 2012 and i wanted to really dress the house up you know make it look really cool outside so nobody wanted to go inside my house and trash the place <laughs> very so, cool like, I, I started doing it, and then just every single year it kept getting bigger and bigger. And I live in a pretty small community, so uh, then the kids wanted to walk through okay. and check out my yard display. So then it kind of started evolving into a haunt uh, through the whole yard. Very cool. Very cool. Would you, yeah. have, would, you, would you give it like a theme, or was it kind of just general chaos, or, or what were you going for with um, it? We, we kind of broke it up into every single squadron of my yard kind of had its own theme. We did like a laser swamp that was a voodoo theme. Okay. We did uh, cannibals out behind the house that were grilling bodies. Oh, uh, I like the cannibal. Yeah, dude. We did a Michael Myers scene, and then uh, the, the garage where you end up with me was uh, obviously like a freak show set up, you know, so I could be hanging out in there. 
Very cool. Very cool. I love it. I love it. I love it. I would have loved yeah, to have yeah. seen it, man. That, that sounds badass, man. Very cool. Very cool. And then it went well enough that, we're, that we get recognized and they, and they want you to come play. You know, again, I'm not always sure what to call it. I don't want to make the home hunt seem inferior because they're not no, at all. not at but, all. But, you know, you kind of – it's. I think it's like getting called up from the indies to go perform at WWE, you know, yeah, a little bit, you right. know, something, something like that. So – Tell us about it, man. We have a lot Year of wrestling one. references. Yeah, I'm hang sorry. With us. <laughs> sorry. Uh, but uh, tell me about year one uh, working in a, a quote unquote professional haunted attraction. So, honestly, what kind of what shocked me about year one was just when I would go to my scene, just on my way through, it just seemed like natural habit to make sure all the lights were on, make sure the props were running, you know, just. That seemed like something you should do on your way. And then uh, very quickly I found out from management that that's not, you know, a part for the course, you know, with actors, like, actually going through and making sure everything's working before the night starts. Okay. Um, so I guess yeah, you got so that, a little that, bit that, of extra something, something going on there when you get to go and haunt with people, too, because you're able to spot things and you're seeing that may be problematic throughout the day, too. Yeah, yeah, so, you know, I'll go... And uh, that that first year was really nice. You know, we we were kind of short staffed, and it was a really big haunt because it's at an amusement park. So it actually taught me a lot for improv because my scene that I was working was probably a quarter of a mile. Wow! Oh, and, Jesus. Uh, yeah, yeah. So then when I would go to guest act at different haunts, they'd be like, "How do you feel?" about working a bigger scene i'm like i guarantee you ain't got a scene bigger than what i'm working wow no i, <laughs> no. Man, I got a, a quarter mile scene how are you working that i mean are you just like running yourself to death or you is there just be. like certain hit points uh you, you, little little peer behind the curtain man how's that work <laughs> that's a big so, ass scene yeah, man it was like it was a lot of running yourself to death and then just kind of the way the path fell i was able to cut through you know okay. and hit them on different parts of the path but yeah i mean we were we were working you know with maybe eight people on something that was a couple miles long you know and Damn. it was just okay yeah you were just trying to give everybody a bang for their buck you know so right. it's legit just non-stop ah! so you're just like yeah, like yeah. by the <laughs> By the time and 2, 3 first... a.m.s rolled around, the last Haunters came through, you're dead. Yeah, and that first year, we were doing uh, unlimited trips. Oh, so God. So not Bless only were you working soul. that big area, but the customers were there for five hours. I no, thank you. hair from the cat on my <laughs> face and tear into his <laughs> No, thank you. That is, uh, that's, that's nuts. Uh, that's, that's, wow. Wow. That's, that's nuts. All right. So, um, what were some of your favorite memories from those early years from, from start first starting out? Uh, maybe even some of your favorite scares or even better, the scare that kind of got you the bug. And that, that probably came with the home hunt before you even got into this. Yeah. Um, honestly, I think when, when I think of the early years, one of my favorite scares that sticks out was, uh, I, I was messing with a group that their mom was in a wheelchair. She had just broke her leg, oh. and she was carting her way through, and I knew I would be able to catch up with them on the other side of the path. So when she came through, I just hollered out my Meals on Wheels had arrived and grabbed her and just ran full <laughs> speed with that wheelchair. I <laughs> love it. That's epic. Know, that, that, was a, that was a blast. That, and I bet she loved it and probably pissed oh, herself yeah. too. Oh yeah. <laughs> I mean, because that's that's and that's speaking fantastic. Speaking of, you know what? Go, mom, for going ahead and going to the hunt in a wheelchair with your kids. Come yeah. On. Oh no, yeah. No, I like it. Yeah, I like it. On. I like it. My meals on wheels I has like arrived. It. That's that's very cool. Very cool. I love it. I love it. So um. So had you used that one before, or was that on the spot? That was on the spot. Nice. I just saw it, and now uh, <clears> so <throat> many people laughed about it that. I try and keep it on deck if I see it, but uh, you know it, it is a touchy it's subject. It's probably few and far between too. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to just be yelling "meals on wheels" at everybody in a wheelchair, you know. But somebody just got wheelchaired like three with three days ago. Wants to go to a haunted yeah, house yeah. to forget about it. Here comes <laughs> Pappy. <laughs> Meals on wheels. <laughs> Fucking double amputee or something. I love it. I love it. No, that's. That's fantastic. God, man, that's this is why we have a parental advisory to play for the show. 
Uh, just moments just like this one right here. Uh, anyways, very cool. Um, take yourself out of the acting aspect of it for a sec. Put yourself right. in the mindset of a guest, of a patron. What are some of your favorite things to see in a haunted house? And what are some of the things that when you do see in a haunted house, it kind of makes you go, Ugh. Um, I'd say like, my, my favorite things that I see are really just actors that will uh that you can tell they're they've been working on their improv or their dialogue yes. i mean it really does drive me nuts when i just hear a growl yeah yeah or you know the the stereotypical you know get out scream or just somebody screaming in my face in general yeah um yeah so honestly seeing just seeing an actor giving some dialogue fuck anything yeah. fuck yeah that's Great what we answer. like to see too that back banter that moment Great that answer able to right. interact with each individual customer a little bit differently based off how they're acting in that scene. It, it just personalizes it so much more and gives you more of an immersion feel in there. It really does. Right. Yeah, it really does. And it makes it feel, you know, it does. It's like she said, it makes it feel real. Um, you know, yeah. not like you're just kind of walking through, yeah. you know, stuff that's been pre-ordained and pre-set up and there's no real change in right. it. No, you know, it's... It, and of they, course you need that at times, but... But yeah, yeah. I, I love that. I love that. Very cool. What is the one thing you don't want to see in a haunted house? If you could pick, mine's vortex tunnels. I hate them. I want. I'm, I'm sorry if you're a fan. <laughs> I, I love vortex tunnels. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I can't stand them. I, I think. I just, now I just... have gotten him to like one because you sent an entire freaking truck through a vortex tunnel in a garage. So. Yeah, I, I did like that. Oh, one. You man, did like that. Sweet. One. Yeah, it was pretty cool. And not that vortex tunnels are not cool. They, they are. They're I, just it's everywhere. Just, yes, it's just my thing. And, and they're like, what I hate is you'll be going through an asylum, and it's been asylum the entire time, and then there's a vortex, vortex tunnel, tunnel thrown in there because why the shit not? And yeah. that's, that, that's when it really bothers face. me. That's when it really right. bothers me. But um, now that you hate me for telling you that I hate vortex tunnels, <laughs> uh, go ahead and tell me what it is that you don't want to see inside of a haunted attraction. All right. Well, I'm sure I'll have some people hate me. Uh, I'm not a fan of just complete blackout. I like it. It, it, it. See, like, darkness doesn't bother me. And then so when I'm just walking through a blackout area, it just feels like like just stall almost for yeah. me. Yeah. And I, I've also noticed that, that you, some of these, like, blackout mazes, while it sounds like a cool concept, I find it more frustrating um than anything right. else because you don't even like like there's no like marker to really no. even kind of tell where you've been and so for reals i just can't get see anytime we go through any of those things i automatically have to put him in front of me literally because i can't see to get out of the motherfuckers yeah i'm not right. afraid of it i can't physically see well in the dark so it makes it more frustrating that i have to be like come here yeah. <laughs> to get through right. it yeah um, one of our uh, favorite haunts around here used to have a blackout scene, and uh, I love the new scene so much were, more. They were joking around <laughs> with us because we uh, we we kind of tore them up over their big blackout area um, one year, and then I was talking to the owner the next year. He's like, "Well, I want you to know we got rid of the blackout area." And I was like, oh, "My bad." Hell yeah! <laughs> but they pulled up something you would actually love a fucking freak show. Uh, went in its place, so uh, very cool, very Lindsay, cool. Lindsay, they actually had shock pads when they had it, so yeah. Yeah, 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 the, the, yeah and the shock pads, I, I don't know, man, I, I just, yeah, they're, it's not not for me. Listen, not for me. I needed either. to touch the shock pads so the thing would light up so I could see where the hell I needed to go, so it was fine, I would touch the wall. And I promise you, there's right. one haunt owner out there right now going, I got you assholes, I'm going to put a vortex tunnel in my blackout area, that'll show you. <laughs> um, but anyways... Uh, moving on, uh, what's been one of your favorite memories as a guest inside of a haunted house? You don't have to name the name of the haunt or anything like that, unless you want to. You're welcome to. But what's been one of your favorite memories? And I know you don't get to do it often because you're constantly acting, but one of your favorite memories as a guest inside of a haunted house? Um, I'd say, honestly, one, one of my favorite memories was, uh, and it's, it's a controversial scare, you know, throw it out there before I say it, but... That uh, that suicide scene at Haunted Hoochie, I thought that really blew me away. Yeah, just how realistic it was, yeah. and it was right out the gate that yeah. they just hit you with that. Yeah. Now uh, we know that Haunted Hoochie is very controversial with a lot of people. It is not a controversial place here. So yeah. no, no, <laughs> right. we are we are big we love fans. 
everything that they put out, even the controversy, it, it feels like it has its purpose and its reasoning, and it's just beautifully fantastic. Yeah, and um, but, I'll, I'll let you all in on a little <laughs> secret of something. You might possibly see next year, I'm working on it, uh, an inside look at, at Haunted Hoochie, Hoochie. Um, from us this year. Oh, right I, am, I, am, I am desperately We're working on it. We're there is nothing anywhere close to being confirmed, but I am desperately working on making that happen. And I think we're about that close we really uh, are, to being I'm able to do it. a full inside look at Haunted Hoochie. Love that place. Uh, I've been talking to the owner for a little while and think I've got a pretty good relationship with him. Uh, it's been good so far. <laughs> So we'll see, but uh, yeah, let's let's talk about the hooch for just a second, because it's right. it's got a bad reputation a little bit. Um, you know, there's a lot of people that hear haunted hoochie sometimes and immediately think of some of the quote unquote stories they've heard. What are your thoughts right. on a haunt like that that definitely pushes the envelope? Pushes and the again, envelope. you're amongst friends here. We love the hooch, but pushes right. the envelope. It's very physical, very interactive, and there is no line. It seems they will not cross. What are your thoughts on that type of haunt? Do you think we should see more of it, or is the hooch kind of one of a kind? Does it have its own purpose place? Yeah. Um, I think the haunted hoochie, like it's it's perfect in the sense that I would hope you know what you're getting into when you go there. Yes. You know, like it. it uh, I know we had. Uh, I same thing. I won't name any names, but uh, we had a a uh, scene. Tossed, uh, tossed at the building team idea for our hunt that was extremely controversial. And it's something I thought that Hoochie could probably get away with, but yeah. I think in the midst of ours would have just been too over the top. Yeah. Uh, and there so is, a, there is that, a time and place for it, it, it does seem. Exactly. Uh, and I think that if you go to Haunted Hoochie, you know, know that they're going to push that boundary. I love the topics that they touch on. I do, I do too. I really do. I think it's so innovative the way they do it. I don't feel like it's distasteful at all in my personal right. opinion of it. I feel like it's just a personification of what we really want to see when it comes to different things being horror, you know? I don't know. That's, right. That Spike Dildo scene was the most intense thing I think I've seen in a while. <laughs> I was not. Yes, but tell me you wouldn't watch the movie that has something like that on a fucking cover. I have. I've seen all three exactly. of the Human Centipedes. Okay? I've watched them all. Okay. Now, I'm going to tell you right now, Human Centipede 2 was the worst experience of my life. But I got <laughs> through it. I finished. I, I've got all the way through that fucking <laughs> And that's a black and white one, too. Oh, my God. It's a bad yeah. movie. <laughs> but anyways... Um, no, I like it. I, I, I like it. Have you, um, I mean, you've worked at a couple different haunts. You do a little bit of traveling. Have you ever had the opportunity yeah. to work at a haunt like that? Uh, not, not at Hoochie. Uh, most of the other haunts that I've been at are like, uh, like all the haunts with John Elsich, uh, Factory Terror and Akron Schoolhouse. I, I went out to Hudson Haunted House actually last year as well for the, uh, JC's. Uh, but yeah, I've never been. I've never acted at somewhere as interactive as Hoochie. Very now, cool. going back to Akron Schoolhouse, we actually got together this year and we absolutely loved it, man. What's one of your favorite things about uh, working there? Uh, honestly, like I don't even know if it would be about working there, but that scene in the laboratory with the big uh, Tesla coil yeah. yes. blows me away every time. Yeah, you know, yeah, I know it's there and it blows me away every time. We, we've got friends in the haunt industry that are really into the uh, the horror, the scientific, like aliens and everything like that and the lab equipment. As soon as we went through it, we was like, w they need to come see this. <laughs> no, right, I, right. I, the, the schoolhouse is awesome. Yes. Um, I, I, thought the, is... I thought the laboratory blew it away. Yeah. I, I really did. I, I thought the, or I guess technically they call it the laboratory. Um, right. but, uh, but no, that was so cool. Like the moment you just walk down that hillside Even the line interaction and with see it, it. Oh, it just turns so into a cool. different area. Um, yeah, that like that bird cage scene they have where you're yes. kind of walking through. I love that. Very cool. Very cool. What, uh, what, what area were you working with uh, Akron? Where, where were you at last year? Let's start, let's start there. For the regular season last year, I was at Nightmare Pioneer. Okay. At Pioneer okay. Washington. Okay, now, um, but you've done some some guest acting at Akron, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah, when I you did, go there, uh, is it still Pappy, or do you play a different role? Uh, yeah, I did the I did Pappy when I went there. Um, 
And so, you know, I got I was in the clown scene, of course. Uh, we were doing the halfway to Halloween, and they were actually doing, uh, I know I'm going to botch the name, but it was like Famous Monsters, you know, okay. like they were trying to do all the serial killers and everything like that. It was pretty cool. Cool. Very cool. Very cool. Well, regretfully, we are getting low on time, and there is two more points we absolutely have to hit tonight before we let you go. Um, and the For first sure. one is, what are the plans this year? Uh, so far there's nothing concrete. Like I'm kind of fishing around, you know, debating if I'm going to do a season of travel acting or, uh, set up shop somewhere new. Uh, yeah. So I guess right, right now it's kind of up in the air. We're feeling out some options. So you're, you're a free agent is what I'm hearing. Yeah. Yeah. Free agent. So you're looking, looking for a sign on bonus, maybe a good agent to to help you secure, (laughs) lock down a multi-year deal. If anybody it. wants to take my talents down to South Beach, you know. Or, <laughs> I love it. You know, I love like, it. Yeah, absolutely. He's absolutely. looking to sign on a Paul Heyman. Just yeah. Saying, no, no, I got you. Right. I, got you. <laughs> oh, I would take him. We, I would take we, Paul Heyman to walk around. We have hit around. our maximum amount of wrestling references we have to tonight. To... No, no more. No, no, no. We actually was going to have more references, but I didn't have time to share it. That thing I sent you where you could stop it and it shows the three different people together on wrestling. I, I was going to do it. <laughs> Anyways, uh, we actually have a question from the audience. Uh, Suze wants to know, where did you slide at? Because you're also a slide. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I slid I slid at uh, Hudson. Is that, Hudson Haunted House is actually where I learned how to slide. Okay. Um, and then I did the whole year last year at Nightmare Pioneer. I'm actually pretty new at it. Uh, I did it last year at Hudson for the St. Patrick's Day just because I saw their parking lot and I was working their queue line and I was like, man, this would be a perfect scene for a or a spot for a slider. So I just uh, went and bought knee pads that night and went for it. <laughs> Very cool. Very cool. What's been your biggest wipeout trying to slide? Oh my! So we have we have an actor up here who's kind of a local legend katie lane and when i saw her come up to hudson haunted house i wanted to nail this perfect slide in front of her and everything and i slid and both my knee pads went down my shins and i just tucked and rolled right in front of her (laughs) well i mean it was an epic scene you gotta you gotta say that it was epic i bet they remembered it for sure Bet they remembered it for sure. Uh, we got another question from the audience. I think you may have already answered this one, but I just want to double check. Uh, they want to know, this is from James Mock, what's your favorite scare you ever pulled off? I know we talked about Meals talked on about Wheels early earlier. Scare. I don't know if um, that's your favorite What's scare? your all-time favorite scare? Uh, I did have another one, you know, thinking about it, where this girl had a case of the faints, <laughs> and I popped out at her, and she fell on the ground, got up and just started running and at our haunt i kind of installed a rule with everybody if if a customer starts running from you you chase yeah yeah you know, i don't i don't care if you leave your seat chase that person till it's over I like and it. uh i was chasing her and then again a little ways later she fell down and so i just laid down next to her and her friend was uh live streaming it or something right in her <laughs> face and she rolled over on the ground and saw me laying next to her and just lost her mind. That is awesome. I like it. That's awesome. I love it. I love it. All right, audience, if you got I any more questions, this is that last moment to get them in because I'm going to ask my last question of the night. If I don't hear from you before I'm done with oh, it. We do have to ask about his aspirations of the movie. Huh? That's where I'm going. <laughs> okay. That's it. That's the last question. Uh, we know you got some ultimate aspirations. What is the long-term goal for Pappy, where are you trying to be with this whole shindig? Um, I think at the end of the day, I, I really would love to run my own haunt. Very cool. Um, Very yeah, cool. I mean, uh, I've, I've been a operations manager at my current haunt for five years. Nice. And kind of my, my, my goal in heading out now was to get a little more recognition of myself and my character to, uh, have something to build on when I eventually strike out on my own. Very cool. I like Very that. Very cool. I like it. I like it. I don't see any other questions from the audience. We are going to go ahead 
and move into the last little bit of our show this evening. Ah. Give me that. Give me that toilet brush. Give me that toilet brush. This is what we do for all of our guests. At the end of the night, we decide if we like them or not. We give them zombie toilet and, brush. Um, and you have earned the ranking of toilet brush. So there you go. Right on. That's, that's what we think. You're, you're told. No. I appreciate it. That's not what this is all about. This is the Knights of the Cleaners of Shit. It is a symbol for those that we believe set the example for what the haunt industry should be. We chose a toilet brush because, well, we were given uh, a toilet brush. Uh, Jason Langham, real quick. Real, uh, well, now we got. Hold on. Now Jason, we got questions rolling in. Hold Jason, on a second. He said he doesn't change the names of his characters because everybody knows him as Pappy. All right, and we're gonna get one one last question from the. Uh, I have never stopped a nighting before, but I'm gonna stop a nighting for you, James. James Mock has one last question. Advice for any new haunters out there. What do you got? Uh, my advice would honestly just to never never be content with where you're at. Try and always get better with your skills in every aspect of haunting. Uh, I don't like I don't like to stay stagnant for very long. And I think that's kind of what led to me being hauntless, homeless this year. Is <laughs> I don't like being stagnant. I like it. I like it. Always pursuing to be better. I love it. Yes. I love you know, it, that's man. a great motto to have, too, because if you get to the point where you think that there's nothing else you can learn, that's when you grow stagnant. Right. And now I'm getting scrubbed. Anyways. Don't scrub me! I'm not a <laughs> shit stain on the side of our beautiful toilet bowl. Anyways. <laughs> um, so... This back to where we were. Back to where we were talking about toilet brushes. So this is a symbol for those that we believe are examples of the Han industry. Uh, we look at the Han industry as a family, and I think for the most part, <coughs> excuse me, uh, we do a pretty good job. Sorry, cold. Skin. I'm getting it's choked hot. up. You know. Yeah. <coughs> it's okay. It's okay. I know. It's an emotional moment for all it of is. us. It is. It is. It is. It is. You know, I'm waiting for Will Smith to smack. I feel like we need. Oh, <clears throat> moment right Anyways, now. back to where we were. Um, this is an example. It's a is an example of what we believe people should Doesn't be in the haunt industry. Um, it's about seen some days, you know. And we look at the haunt industry as a family, and that family is a beautiful porcelain bowl. And that bowl is beautiful and shiny and pure and white. We like to keep it that way. But every once in a while... Some asshole comes by and he tries to leave a skid mark on our beautiful bowl. And that's where our knights of the cleaners of shit stand up, show that example, and scrub that stain right off the side of that bowl and keep it nice and clean. So, Pappy, if you're willing to join our ranks tonight, would you like for me to scrub your face and you to become an official uh, it, member of the knights of the cleaners of shit? One of us. It would be an honor. I love it. I love it. Pappy, welcome to the family. Welcome to the cult. Welcome to the <laughs> no. Knights of the Cleaners of Shit. Officially one of us. Yeah, you are now yeah. a KCS member, sir. Wear it with pride. Aiden, I will put whatever. Never mind. I'm not going to finish that sentence. Um, because that'll that'll never mind. Aiden, you win this round. Well played. Um, anyways, uh, damn. I got played by Aiden. I did it on my own show. You did it on Welcome your own Welcome to show. the Knights of the Cleaners of Shit, man. Um, thank you so much for, for hanging out with us tonight. And talking to us for a little while, we do appreciate it. And as we do with every single fresh nighting, Pappy, this is the part of the show where I'm going to turn it over to you before I kick you the hell out of here. I'm going to give you the opportunity to say whatever you want, however you want. Shout out, shameless plugs, thank yous, whatever you want. Pappy, again, thank it's you very Pappy much time. for uh, for hanging out with us tonight. But it is Pappy time, and you can use that. If you want, I, like I, I give time. you permission to just <laughs> right use that forever. Time. It's pappy time. I want to hear it. if I ever go oh, to God. that. Yeah, that needs to be in the haunts. Oh God! Right. <laughs> um, the institute has something you can put in your mouth. Aiden, leave me alone. I'm trying to close up my show, bro. Um. <laughs> so, anyways, pappy, the floor is yours, man. Shameless plug, shout outs, thank yous. It's pappy time. Close this thing out. Perfect. Well, I'd like to say thank you to the Haunted Honeymooners first, of course. Oh, thank you. You know, it's been great having uh, having the, the evening to spend together. And um, I'd like to thank uh, Damon and the team at Hudson Haunted House for always letting me come out there. John and the team at uh, FOT and Akron Schoolhouse for always letting me come out there. And, of course, uh, the Pioneer team for giving me the opportunity to learn the industry. Very cool. And... Um, a uh, big shout out to Mandy with uh, Devil's Little Sister for making my custom teeth. Uh, anybody who's looking for custom teeth or uh, J 
jackets. She does a whole mess of things. Check her out on Etsy, Devil's Lil Sister, L-I-L. And um, I guess my last one, I'd love to give a big shout out to my girlfriend, Marilyn, for being a huge support for me in, uh, in this industry. Aww. Yeah. Do you think that she's standing behind like, him with a knife right now and she's like, you better say something nice about me? <laughs> the no, that would be Mindy. <laughs> yeah, that would, that would be Mindy. All right. Well, Pappy, man, thank you so much again for being a part of this. It was an absolute privilege to have you on. Can't wait to talk to you again in the future. We'll definitely be in touch, man. And if you ever need anything from Perfect. us, anything we can ever do for you, man, you know, you're looking for that Paul Heyman in your life to get you that multi-year deal. Yeah. <laughs> you know, holler at me. We'll see if we can make something happen. Yeah, I need I'll even, it. I'll even think I of a cool it. introduction. I've got you. It's Pappy time. We, the future is endless. It's Pappy time. All right. Yeah, you're coming up with catchphrases for me already. <laughs> yeah. It's very cool. All right. Well, regretfully, Pappy time has came to its conclusion. Pappy, you have a wonderful right evening, and um, we'll talk to you soon, man. Have a great night, buddy. All right. You too, guys. Thank you. All right. Now, that is that. That was, uh, man, what an awesome interview. It that was. was a lot of fun. Uh, I love it. I love it. I love it. Uh, let me uh, switch back over here to this scene. Love some Pappy Tom. Yeah, that was cool as shit, man. Excellent interview. Excellent guy. Make sure you're checking him out wherever he might end up being this year. Just uh, give him a follow. Send him a message. See where he's going to be. Now, Just Nick was check saying out your own that he wasn't Tom. on here at the end, that you can go to that webpage that he's got on here. We're going to go back through on the computer once it's all said and done. I'm and actually I'm doing that it. To talk. He's actually doing it now. It's already been pinned. I okay. am uh, working on... So we're going to share that fun stuff second. out for you guys. Um, it is already and available right now. And we're going to get that taken care of for you. Um, I'm going to talk to Nick. We might have just a little something special coming up for supporters only. So uh, Yeah. That's something yeah. coming out too. So we'll give you more details about that. Mm. But this sale that's going on right now is only lasting for a week. And then those prices will go up. But they will go up to a standard price. That's pretty much where they're going to stay as long as the cost for us stays there. I am trying desperately to find it, and I can't find the what he Will's just Well, there's a lot of comments. Because there's so many comments. All right, so I am going to... to no, 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 I got it, I got it, I got it. Y'all bear with me for just a second. I'm going... I have, I have different routes of getting this. <laughs> Trish, talk about something else. Entertain them. All right, so we got that going on <laughs> on top of that. No pressure. Lindsay is going this weekend. She is trying to go to Necropolis. I think it's Necropolis. I'm always concerned about pronouncing those wrong. To the Easter Haunted Attraction they got this weekend. Fingers crossed. Um, she is going to try to go there, so we're pretty excited for that for her. Um, she already has her tickets booked for Midwest Haunters Convention, correct? Is that what it's called? Yep. Thank you. Midwest Haunters Convention. She's got tickets booked for there, so we know Lindsay at least will be there and will be on the floor checking stuff out. And guess what? Lindsay's going to do some lives for us because she's wanting to branch out into that and we love our Lindsay. Um, we do have Suze and Nick are thinking about getting to go to that as well. James himself is thinking about it. I don't know that I'm going to be able to, but we're going to do and see what we can. Uh, I am glad that Lindsay gets to go and check out some of these vendors though because there's some pretty cool vendors at these places. Um, we do have come down the pipeline a little bit more extra fun stuff too that we can't discuss quite yet, but... Uh, we have, tonight we're probably going to message the group and discuss possibly talking to someone else. Yes. And the very last thing we're going to go over here is the new merch store before we close things out with a little bit of welcome to the collective tonight. Oh, you did get your tickets. Hey, Shan. Go, Suze. Cool. Cool, cool. All right. So these are some of the things that you can purchase. And right now there is a sale going on at the moment. That sale will end soon. Um, let me show you some of the cool shit. Number one, this is my fave right here. I, I, I love the, uh, the the packable jacket. Probably definitely going to have to get one of these. Probably not in gold. I don't, I'm, not, I'm not feeling the gold. I'm definitely not feeling the camo. Uh, but the blue. The blue looks solid. The red looks even better. And everything that I have Haunted Honeymooners right now is, uh, is black. So I do need to uh, switch it up some. The Haunted Honeymooners like backpack. Black. I like the backpack too. Big fan of that one. Only thirty-seven dollars and ten cents right now. Now there's a cool ass keychain on here too. Yeah. I'm all about keychains because I'm always breaking them. So. And um, as of right now, just so y'all know, we're not making a penny off of this stuff at the moment. We are. No, the first this week is at our cost is for going you guys. to be at cost just so you guys can get it. <clears throat> get it now. All of the big supporters that's been asking and asking and asking. 
Nick's got this for you guys. So for one week, you're going to get these items at cost. After that, it's going to go up, and it's going to stay at a stationary price. And if there's something that you're seeing that you really want, I also like this this hoodie. This looks top notch. Uh, it's definitely a little on the pricier side, but uh, I, man, I, I love the red. It looks thick though. I love the red. I've never had camo anything. Um, I've never had it's not camo. camo. That's tie dye. No, that's. I, Is it camo? No, that that's looks tie -dye. camo. Look, tie dye. It's in the description. Hey, it's tie dye. It's right there in the description. <laughs> stupid. God, what's wrong with you? Anyways, um, no, I'm a big fan of that one. I really, really like that oh, one. Oh, and Lindsay said she's going to Haunted Hotel as well. Very cool. Very cool. So that's what we got going on. That's the merch store right there is the web address for streamlabs.com forward slash haunted honeymooner singular. Moon -er. It's a singular, singular site for merch. Slash merch. We're going to share that store. We're going to pin that up to the, what is it? Um. So anyways, we're going to share that to the top of the page and um, you guys will be able to go out there and buy your own haunted honeymooners gear. Um, we hope that you guys are going to want some of it, but, uh, that's, uh, I think that's back to us. I'm going, all right. I'm sorry. My bad. I didn't understand what you were saying. That's what I'm working on. I got you. Uh, blah, 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 blah. And there we are. All right. Now we're back. So you also have to go and check out TikTok because guess what? TikTok has been on fire here lately. And yeah, every Susan's time we have it. a new person coming up on our show, Susan's sharing that shit over on TikTok with us with some cool ass fun videos. Go check out what she's got going on over there. Share it out. Go like it. Whatever it is you do on TikTok. I'm not a TikTok person. That's why we have a Suze. Yep. <laughs> yep, absolutely. Absolutely. That's why we have a Suze. She's doing a great job with it. Thank you all so much for tuning in tonight. And don't forget, on Thursday, there's Science Behind the Scare. <coughs> there's Science Behind the Scare. There might be trivia. Who knows? Nick might even talk this time. Okay? I'm done. He might. I am, I've been giving Nick shit about trivia. His mic is back up and running. Leave him be. I'm not going to lie. I've been kind of harsh on the guy, you know? But um, it is what it is. You know, <laughs> first it was maybes, and now now he doesn't even talk anymore. Nick, what have you done to trivia? Bring it back to us the way we want it. Not this way. We don't want it this way. Don't do we that. We want the old trivia. We want to hear your voice. Anyways, this is getting weird. And it's time for us to call it a night. Thank you all so much for tuning in Thank you guys. to another episode of Talking Scared. Here is welcome to the collective. You all have an amazing evening. Bye, guys.